In this video, I'm going to show you the differences between a turbocharger and a supercharger. Let's first talk about a supercharger. Now, this one that you're looking here is called a root supercharger, or what some other car guys will call it, a twin screw supercharger. The reason they call it a twin screw supercharger is because there are two screw-like objects that spin, which has gaps where air goes through and goes into the engine. That's why it's called a twin screw supercharger, or what's commonly called a roots supercharger. So what is it, and how does it work? A supercharger is a unit that bolts to your engine and is connected with a pulley between the engine crankshaft and the supercharger unit, which is that brown thing that you see on the end. The supercharger forces air into the engine as the engine spins the supercharger. It is important to note that different sizes of the pulleys that spin the supercharger determines how much boost the engine will produce. For example, a smaller pulley makes the supercharger spin faster. Airflow pressure that's being forced into the engine is measured in PSI or pounds per square inch. You can find the root supercharger unit in cars like the Lotus Evora and the Mercedes-Benz SLR, but is mostly common in American cars such as the Ford Lightning, the Corvette ZR1, and the Dodge Hellcat and Demon. Now let's talk about turbos. Now a turbocharger is similar to a supercharger, except it has an exhaust housing instead of a pulley. This means it runs off of your exhaust gases instead of a pulley connecting to your engine crankshaft. So how does it work? Exhaust gases spin the turbine, which causes a compressor inside the turbo to force air into the engine. Turbochargers are far more efficient than a supercharger since your engine doesn't need to work harder to power the turbo since so it's not a direct connection to the engine, unlike a supercharger. Also, turbochargers spin faster than a supercharger. So where will you find this? You will usually find turbochargers and superchargers in heavily modified cars, but the ones that are coming with stock are cars like the Mazda RX-7, the Nissan GTR, the Toyota Supra, the Ferrari F40, and the Ferrari 488 GTB, just to name a few. It is also important to note that a supercharger sounds a lot different than a turbocharger. For example, this is what a supercharger sounds like. And this is what a turbo will sound like. And those are the basic differences between a supercharger and a turbocharger. Which one's better? It's clearly up to you. Do you like the sound of hissing and fluttering? Get the turbocharger. Do you like the sound of whining? Get the supercharger.